The story of the Jurassic is not written only in bones, but in the fleeting traces dinosaurs left in mud, sand, and ash. These footprints, ichnofossils, are fossilized moments of life, capturing motion, behavior, and interactions that skeletons alone can never reveal. A single Allosaurus crossing a wet lake bed, its steps baked by the sun and gently buried by silt, becomes a perfect, three-dimensional cast, preserved for 150 million years. Such preservation demands an extraordinarily delicate set of conditions, which is why every trackway is so rare and valuable. Trackways transform paleontologists into prehistoric trackers. From a footprint's depth, we infer weight. From stride length, we reconstruct speed and gait. From the direction and spacing of multiple tracks, we uncover behavior. A single footprint is just a clue, but multiple parallel trackways form a narrative and sometimes an entire social saga. This becomes especially powerful in the Morrison Formation, where vast networks of sauropod tracks reveal organized herds migrating across ancient floodplains. Adult sauropods often walked on the outside edges, while juveniles remained protected within a pattern pointing to structured group behavior and parental care. Nearby, the tracks of large theropods intersect or run parallel to these dinosaur highways. In several cases, sets of three to five Allosaurus tracks move in coordination, suggesting that these predators sometimes hunted cooperatively, forming opportunistic packs capable of challenging even gigantic prey. Not every dinosaur traveled in groups. Solitary Stegosaurus trails meander through the landscape, their lack of tail drag marks confirming that the Thagomizer was held aloft as an active weapon. Nervous flocks of small ornithopods dart unpredictably across the terrain, contrasting sharply with the steady march of the sauropod herds. Mapping these paths reveals migration routes, ambush zones, predator-prey interactions, and the ecological structure of an entire ancient world. By integrating ecology with skeletal anatomy, scientists can match footprints to specific species and correct long-held assumptions. Narrow-gauge trackways prove sauropods walked with column-straight limbs, not sprawled like reptiles. Combined with paleobotany and river system fossils, the footprints allow us to reconstruct Jurassic ecosystems with remarkable accuracy, a living, dynamic world of herds, hunters, migrations, and survival strategies, written not in bones, but in the earth itself.